The Skyline Report for Northwest Arkansas just came out, and inside of it had some shocking details, not only about residential real estate, but also commercial. So, let's talk about that. Hey everybody, if you don't know who I am, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in Northwest Arkansas. If my backdrop looks a little different, I am currently in New York City, but the content must go on. And if you weren't aware, I was a real estate broker located in the, in the dumpster fire, the horrible, the no good state of Illinois, the worst, and I could have moved anywhere I wanted to in America. I could have moved to Knoxville, I could have moved to Maryville, Salt Lake City, Boise, Colorado, Boulder, Golden, Flagstaff, it was so many places, any place really. But I chose Northwest Arkansas, and it is by far the best place to live in America, literally by far. So if you ever wanna talk about why I chose Northwest Arkansas versus anywhere else in America, let's meet up for coffee, let's talk on the phone, let's do something to kind of explain why Northwest Arkansas is better than literally any other place in America. So without further ado, let's jump right into the content. All right, and the first thing we need to cover is, what is the Skyline Report? What, 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 what is that? It's actually a biannual, twice a year report, kind of, not kind of, it is created by Arvis Bank. So Arvis Bank is the biggest bank in Arkansas, I'm pretty sure at the moment, and I want you to, we're gonna do a little quiz here for a moment. A little quiz. Who owns Arvis Bank? If you've guessed, a, the Waltons, you'd be correct. Yes, a Walton actually owns Arvis Bank, shocker. But they do every single year, they, or twice a year, they actually put out a report, all the data, all the stuff about what's going on in Northwest Arkansas. They mainly focus on real estate, obviously, because it's kind of a big driver of the area, but they do some economic stuff as well. It's interesting because they partner with University of Arkansas and Arvis Bank puts this together, and they do it twice a year, so fantastic. But the data itself is, I would consider, invaluable because a lot of other areas in America don't do this. The one thing that's very unique about Northwest Arkansas is they are hyper-focused on data, and in a good way, because they want to know, they want to make sure that, that that they're doing the right things at the right time, the right places, to make sure the area stays great and also stays affordable and also has a great uh, quality of life. So the, the actual Skyline Report is great to see every single twice a year because we can kind of gauge how things are going health-wise in the actual North of Arkansas in general. And the second thing we need to talk about about the Skyline Report is the residential housing market. So the crazy thing is that with everything that's going on in America, with recessions and high interest rate, possible recessions, whatever, possible recessions, interest rate, housing getting out of control in some fashion, Austin taking a huge dip, Boulder, Golden, all these other places that have issues with housing, you know, other places are, you know, exploded, uh, you know, obviously like Nashville and other places, and exploded housing wise, all these different places are starting to see a major decline in the last couple of years, like two years, just due to all those different factors. So th when I lead all, this, lead, a, lead all this to say is that Northwest Arkansas is continuing to grow year by year, month by month and everything. So 8.5% more homes sold so far this year than last year. So that tells me that we're almost 10% growth every single year home-wise, which is fantastic, which means that it tells us as real estate agents and people that are you know helping people, helping as many people move here as possible for the sake of having a great life here, is that there's a huge increase happening. Now it's not a huge increase comparison to like Austin or Dallas or other places, but it's a good, consistent, healthy growth of eight to 10%. Now that 10%, that 8%, 8.5%, let me be accurate, is also people switching around etc so there could be a factor of that as well but realistically people there's you know a considerable amount of people coming from other places to north of Arkansas and the builders are able to keep up to some extent with the housing needed in the area itself so seeing an 8.5 percent increase of housing since last year to this year with with interest rates pretty much staying the same except for right now they're actually lowering as we speak but regardless seeing all the data so far this year showing all those different things people are still moving here still enjoying life here and still considering and obviously are leaving other places of america to come right here in north arkansas so it's great to see the housing markets continue to tick up month after month and year after year. Whoa, 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 whoa. I made something for you. I made something called three day itineraries. So maybe you're looking to check out the area vacation here potentially. I made three day itineraries literally day by day, city by city, place by place, restaurant by restaurant. 
All the links are below, so go ahead and download them and use many down here. But maybe you're a venture, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you're a sightseer, maybe you have kids, whatever it is, there are three day itineraries linked down below for you. So definitely go ahead and download them and use them when you get down here. Also, maybe you're using things like realtor.com, zillow.com, or Redfin, way too slow. Notifications, way too slow. That's why I made something called instant home updates. Sounds exactly what it is, literally instant home updates. So enter your information below, name, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, where do you want to move to North Arkansas? Enter all the information below and make sure you don't miss a single notification when it comes for home for sale or for rent, all in North Arkansas. Also, side note, every single Friday, I send an email out just talking about all the cool things happening in North Arkansas. What's going on in downtown Benville? What's going on in Fayetteville? What's going on in downtown Rogers? What's going on in the amphitheater? What new business are moving here? What is the first Fridays? When is the first Thursdays? When is the Christmas? <laughs> So many things all the time, all the time. Enter your name below, enter your email below, and make sure you get that email every single Friday, but I need you to be aware, just a heads up, you will get a little fear of missing out, a little um, uh, FOMO, so to speak, but I promise you will be the most informed person eventually when you make it down to North Arkansas. And the third thing we can learn from the actual Skyline report is actually kind of twofold. The first fold is actually potentially, actually both of them are this way, but the first part of this is actually about commercial. Commercial is a big deal in North Arkansas for obvious reasons. Some of the biggest retailers in the world exist here. We have Walmart here. We have JB Hunt here. We have Tyson. It's all warehousing, a lot of commercial. We need offices. We need warehousing. We need flat industrial. We need co-working spaces. We need it all here in North Arkansas. So the interesting factor is actually that based on the vacancy rate of the area itself. If you were in a normal, regular area in America, a 14 to 16, sometimes 18% vacancy rate is pretty normal. It's it's like a, a developer or investor be like, you know what, that makes sense, I get that. That's, that's in healthy standards. Healthy meaning like, if it was 25%, that'd be bad, that'd be really bad. Anything below 14% is like, well, we're doing really good stuff. Northwest Arkansas has been consistently at 6.5%. 4% for so long. Even with all the developments that happened so far, we still are at 6.4%. And as the articles have come out, they said it's drool worthy. It's an investor's dream. It's a developer's dream. It's a builder's dream to be able to build something and then almost rent it out before you even put a shovel in the ground. That's crazy. That's not only the growth of North Arkansas, but it's the demand of North Arkansas. It's all the businesses moving here to North Arkansas. So, so many factors go into it. The fact that it's at 6.4 is wild. So few areas in America at the moment have even remotely close to that. So I think there's a couple, um, like, an, like maybe about three or four months ago, there's an article that came out that Art North Arkansas per capita was like, the best in industrial building place because of the low cap or the low uh, the low vacancy rate. So wild stuff. But moving on, it is crazy to see just a low vacancy rate happen. And the other second part of the shocking stuff when it comes to the commercial side is that let me get my data right. But literally, four hundred million dollar of permits were issued in the last this last time like this, this last frame so far. The crazy thing is usually you think like, oh, it's $400 million of permits, which is a lot of money. $400 million of permits have been issued for commercial spaces in North Arkansas so far this year. And you're thinking like, oh, it's probably like a lot of Walmart or probably a lot of this, probably a lot of that. No, 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 no. Only $700,000 has been permitted towards Walmart. That's crazy. That means that beyond Walmart, there are $400 million of projects connected commercial wise to the area, but not connected to Walmart. That's wild. And last year it was at $280 million. So we're almost at a 50% increase so far this year. And this year's coming to an end. So I get it. We're not, we don't have, we might be 450 by the end of the year or so. But regardless, we're going to have a 50% increase in commercial projects in North Arkansas. And Walmart will only have about a $700,000 impact on that. Last year was $230 million or $250 million. So you start seeing this huge jumps in commercial projects because of the fact they see the growth, they see the businesses moving here, they see the jobs happening, the low employment rates, and they start thinking, you know what, maybe we should start thinking about moving our, our jobs to North Arkansas. Maybe we should start moving our businesses there. What's we'll seated actually maybe build some warehousing. So, so many factors go into that. And it's crazy to see such a huge increase with it out being connected to Walmart. That's wild. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Again, if you haven't been down to North Arkansas quite yet, 
I made something called the NWA Starter Pack. Sounds like what it is, literally a starter pack full of all the goodies of Northern Arkansas. Comes with stickers, it comes with postcards, it comes with a 120 page guide, literally made by me about the whole area itself, about all the cities, all the population, all the medical, all the schools, anything you wanna know about Northwest Arkansas comes with this 100 page guide, all my itineraries. It also comes with a Northwest Arkansas, me, I've created this, Northwest Arkansas coloring book. That is that is worth the price right there. So enter your name below, enter your address below. Where's this package going to? Enter all the information below and make sure to get that package shipped to you right away. Also, side note, it does come with your first free mountain bike. I know, I know, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. And, 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 I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. It's my favorite four letter F word. Free! So enter your information below, make sure you get that package shipped to you right away. Also, when you do come down here, I can give you the $10 tour, so I can kind of show you around the whole area. Plus, we can check out some home for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar will go in North Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. Alright guys, this is the next one.